It's a word that I had heard and used every day in Tokyo. Just one small word, and yet it says so much. Lying at the very core of their culture, it is a moral compass, a life motto, a work ethic, and a piece of history all in one. Just one small word, and yet if you truly know its meaning, you can begin to really understand what makes Japan tick. Ishio Keme has its roots in the days of samurai, when warriors would risk their lives to defend the territory that had been handed down from their ancestors. It has since captured the interest of people around the world, seen as the key to the resilience of the Japanese people. It has been translated in many ways to do something with all one's might, with utmost effort, to try as hard as you can, but none quite capture the depth behind it. Isho is a lifetime, and Kemme means to devote your life to achieving something. Isho can also mean one place or one moment. So, Isho Kenme means that whatever you are doing, devote your life wholeheartedly to that moment, that place, that task. We never know when our final moment will come, so we must value every second and be unafraid to commit ourselves fully. And where better to live and breathe this concept than in Tokyo, the city where millions of people gather to work hard, play hard, and live hard? In the world's biggest metropolis with a population of over 40 million, but where they manage to still have everything run like clockwork. In Tokyo, Isho Keme resounds deeply in the lifeblood of the city, where people have gathered from across Japan and many also from all over Asia, leaving behind their family, friends, and homes in search of success, wealth, fame, or a better life. They dive headfirst into their work and their daily lives, making every second count. The impressive work ethic in the corporate world of Tokyo is widely recognized, but the same energy and devotion is seen throughout the population. The artisans and craftsmen who preserve Japanese history and culture, the wooden Emma plaques hanging at shrines bearing people's dreams, aspirations, and wishes. The crowds of people who gather together during festivals but always carry every piece of garbage back home with them. The chefs who pay attention to the finest of details. The strong mothers who carry their children on their bicycles every day and wake up early every morning to make them healthy and beautiful school lunches. The unshakable will of the Japanese people can be seen and felt everywhere you go. I was perhaps most surprised by how even young children and the elderly embodied this culture. From an early age, rather than getting competitive at sports events, students cheer each other on from the sidelines, shouting for them to keep pushing and give it everything they have. Once they reach high school, they often stay late into the evening, eagerly doing their best in their school club activities, which range from sports to calligraphy to brass band and taiko drums, among many others. During the summer holidays when I was living in Suginami Ward, there were many children who were eager to continue studying English. They spent their precious days off working on English projects to introduce their hometown to foreigners. And they worked week after week with me to conduct interviews, record videos, and attend my classes. The elderly were also astonishing, never giving up their passion for self betterment and learning. In the evenings and on weekends, they would gather with me at local cafes, eager to bring their English up to conversational level so that they could help tourists and foreigners who were visiting Suginami. They would bring travel brochures and pamphlets for the local districts of Suginami and sit with me for hours with their notebooks, translating phrases into English and learning how to offer directions and give recommendations. During my time in Tokyo, The people's passion for life and learning, working and playing, it was contagious. You learn to do things not because you have to, but because you want to. You want to see your students grow, your friends smile, your city thrive. You learn to dive in headfirst at every opportunity and to live life to the fullest without hesitation. Because life is too short and too precious not to give it everything you have. So, what are you waiting for? Dive in. See you in Japan. Don't tell me to shoot my shot while he's on the way out. Shut up, or I'm gonna freak out. I can't handle him.